Okay, so, as you may have guessed, I'm already nearly finished with the track at this point. I just have to finish up some of his track aesthetic pieces, and it would technically be ready for playtesting. However, when Baka was sending over some reference photos of his track, he also slipped in there a video walkthrough of his entire shop, which did come in handy for scaling, but what he doesn't know is that we're actually going to be making his entire shop drivable in-game. Let's get started. So, to finish up the actual track portion of the map, I have to make the light poles he's got, as well as the buildings along the back wall, the garden edging he's using for the edges of the track, and a few other things. Like in all my maps recently, the models I create don't need to be super detailed by any means. If anything, the simpler the better so they have less polygons. We learned that lesson, so we don't make that mistake anymore. I don't think. Pretty easy, simple stuff. Because the actual track portion is pretty much good to go after that, we're going to go ahead and get to making some of the surrounding shop elements I'm able to make out in the video he sent. Table, chairs, display racks, computer monitors, sim rig. Okay, those appear to be the main elements we're missing to get the point across that this is an actual shop. Let's make them. I make my models with only general color I want things to be, simply because while Blockbench does allow for editing materials within the application, it's a bit cumbersome and I prefer working in Photoshop anyway. Once I have the object made, added to my X-Pack, and now in the editor, I can use material adjustments to open the PNG made in Photoshop to tweak what each part of the object looks like. Now we can add all of his lighting throughout the track and shop. All that's left at this point is to make some final tweaks to the Ah, oh, shit. All that's left now is to make some final tweaks to the placement of everything, cross-referencing with the video he sent me to the best of my abilities. Also, I only had one video to go off of for making the whole shop, and to be honest, I could have asked for more, but I think that might have given away my plan here. When we initially spoke about collaborating on this, there was only mention of the track being made, and based on him only sending one piece of media that's not focused on the track itself, I think it's safe to say he won't be expecting it. Oh yeah, uh, Baka's actually going to be joining us for this montage, which I'm sure is going to be a ton of fun. If you want to see some behind-the-scenes clips from the recording session, as well as other behind-the-scenes content from things to come, my first paid tier on Patreon at $3 gives you access to my entire backlog of content, including clips from the session, sneak peeks at new maps, and polls to help me out with the building decisions. Link to my Patreon will be on your screen now and in the description. Okay, I'm done with my self-shill. Where were we? Oh, wait, what the fuck? We're done? Damn, okay, uh, why don't I just do this? Uh, I guess it's time for the reveal. Here we go. My name is Steven Boris, I'm the founder of Baca Drift RC, and I am in an RC drift car. Killed it, dog. You killed it, bro. Seriously, thank you.